Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is the lecture about numerical analysis and we, today we discuss the fixed point iteration method. The fixed point iteration method, first we study the fixed point iteration method. We discuss some basic things about fixed point iterative method. That one is, that one, this is the definition of the fixed point iterative method. A point alpha is said to be fixed point of g of x if g of alpha equal to alpha. What is meant by this definition? You can understand this one by uh, this example. The fixed point value of the sine function is zero because when we substitute zero and we get the answer is zero, it means the zero is the fixed point of sine function. Same as student, the fixed point of the cos function is this one 0 0.73908513 when you substitute this value in cos function you get also in again in same the function so you understand what is meant by the fixed point now student this is a note on a fixed point that is exponential and logarithmic function have no fixed point same like that when the trigonometric function have have some fixed point but exponential and logarithmic function have no fixed point okay student let's we move on over topic that is the fixed point iterative method before to start uh, before to take an example first of all we takes few uh, approximation and uh, uh, how we use this uh, this rule for this purpose we study the small article that is uh, this one all of the steps are uh, are include here that is if root of f of x lies in an interval a and b and g prime of x is less than one for all x belong to this interval a and b then the general formula for the fixed point method is this one. You people can understand this result, this result by after study this example. This is a, a note on this. It is of one point iterative method because for iteration we need only one point in this question, in this type of method. Now student, this one is the example about the fixed point method. This is a, a over given function and we want to approximate root of this function, the equation one. First of all, we, uh, we find the value of x. Here we write this one equal to zero and we calculate the value of x that is one over e power x. We can also calculate the value of x by this way e power x equal to 1 over x and then taking log on both sides and the get that, that x equal to natural log of 1 over x okay student we we have two different value of x in the form of x one is this and second is this which one is best for the iterative uh, for the fixed point iterative method we decide it by some basic rule that rule is first of all we find the interval where the root is lie we substitute zero in this function in equation then we found, we found the result is minus one when we substitute one in this function we have a positive result what is the result? You people can substitute one in this function and you can see that the, the result is positive. So it means the root is lies between zero and one. Now student, let's move. First of all, we find the interval. Now we choose a value, any value of zero to one. Let's suppose I choose 0 0.5 0 0.5 this value and uh, this is g of x is 1 over e power x now take the derivative and uh, 
after taking derivative we get this result now substitute this point 0 0.5 on the place of x you people can watch their mod is less than 1 for all values of x between 0 and 1 this condition is satisfied so this is best for fixed point iterative method this function if we apply same condition let's we write g of x equal to natural log of 1 over x this one g of x equal to natural log of 1 by x when we take the derivative of this one we get 1 over 1 over x that is x that is x the, va the variation of uh, this one is 1 by 1 by x and uh, the result is here when we substitute the value between 0 and 1 the result is also less than 1 when we take the derivative of this one the result is the g prime of x is 1 over 1 by x into again the derivative of 1 by x is 1 over x square and uh, this one is a minus sign here you people can write this minus x over x square that is minus 1 over x when we substitute 0 0.5 in this place the result is minus something like 0 0.5 mean 1 by 2 that is minus 2 is greater than their mod is greater than 1 so this is not the best choice for fixed point method okay you people can uh, do this by yourself first of all we take if we take this function is g of x natural log of 1 over x after taking their derivative and substituting 0 0.5 the result is minus 2 and their mod is greater than 1 so this is not the ch good choice for the fixed point iteration method so this is not the good choice this is the best choice now we write this question in this form x n plus 1 equal to 1 over e power x n this one now substituting n equal to 0 we get x 1 equal to 1 over e power x naught here let x not equal to 0 0.1 any value we can choose between this interval 0 and 1 that is 0 0.1 the result is x1 is this again we put n equal to 1 then we get this is that x2 equal to 1 over x1 now we use this value again and we, we continue this process again and again at least the result is repeated Thank you very much for watching Education for All.